Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Well, I had to come down here to the coast to put this roof on the house here at the farm. So I figured, well, as usual, I already started it before I started filming. But last year, the roof's real steep. We got this backside on before all the rain and winter came. So of course, we waited to get to 95, 97 degrees and a heat index of about 105 or seven. You know, ain't no sense doing a job like this if you just can't flat and make it miserable. But what we've done, this roof here, this house here, I built on the farm 35 years ago. And uh, it's gone through about three hurricanes. So at my age, I decided now's the time to put a metal roof on and never have to mess with it again. Um, but what I've done, I've got these one by fours you see laid out here on the road. Let me, on the roof, let me walk over here a little bit closer. And these things here are basically spaced out about 24 inches on center. There's a board all the way around, one on the outside edge. They are treated lumber. We have hit the joist, screwing them down. We're putting all the screws in. Pull the vent cap up. You can find the joist real easy. And these things are all screwed down. I don't know if you can see the screws in here with four inch screws. So that's three quarter underlayment or three quarter plywood on the roof. And three quarter board is three inches and the shingles and the old tar paper. And uh, so that still gives almost two inches of bite going into the rafter. Every one screwed right into the rafter. Metal roofing companies do recommend leaving the shingles on or tearing everything off and putting a whole bunch of tar paper down. And that is to catch condensation that will then form underneath the metal roof. So we left the shingles on. I see we always do that down here. We got these two sheets on. It started rumbling and roaring. So we got two more sheets and then we'll run some more boards. And I'll let you see how all this goes, but not that hard once you get it going. Laying it out's the worst part and getting all these boards screwed down. Putting the metal up is pretty easy. I'll show you the next step later on. Well, we're back here in the morning. Hopefully beat the heat a little bit. We're uh, almost pretty close to halfway sheet wise I think we've got I think we're halfway but uh, we're running the boards crossed screwing everything down putting the metal on trying to clean the other side of this roof up we'll go over the chimney flashing again while we're here we're probably even gonna clean the chimney out while we're here from the wood stove one of them there on the back side hidden by the brush is for the hot water heater and that one there's for the wood stove so while we're up on the roof we'll Send the chimney brush down it and clean it while we're here. Well, here it is, up from behind this pecan tree. We've got the whole thing, we're down to two and a half pieces left. While we were up there, we did throw a chimney rod and chimney brush down the chimney. So it's cleaned out, ready for next year. And by the time we get done, we're gonna cut down that old TV antenna that hasn't been used in a long time. So the next little clip will be a having this thing done and not too soon the heat starting to get horrendous well there it is it's finished a little over eight hours by one old man pretty easy could walk on it no pipes coming through the roof but they're not a big problem but uh, that's all it takes a little bit of time and enjoy getting up there and work up a real good sweat. Finally quit today. It's about 97 with a heat index of about 107. Oh, what fun and joy, huh? Well, as usual, it's got another job done. Heat kind of got to everybody after a while. But I just videotaped this thing just to show you that it's not that hard to do. Anybody can do it. It gets a little bit hairy when the roof gets a lot steeper. But um, it's all part of homesteading. It's what we do at Carolina Homestead Planner. We not only do solar power, water pumping, we build everything from houses, barns, sheds, uh, above ground, below ground, on the ground. Give us a call. We do consulting. Uh, anything I can help you with, questions about, leave a comment. 
and we'll catch you on the next one. We're trying to get ready to head up the hill here and get back on a greenhouse project and a water system we got to put in. And we're going to take you along at some point and let you see how everything goes. Thank you for watching. And like anything else, subscribe, hit the button, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think.